Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw the water cycle. First of all, I'm going to draw the land because it's good. It's also going to connect with a mountain. I'm leaving those gaps because I want to add later add some trees over there, okay? That is the river because it's also going to connect with a lake. Now I'm going to fill those gaps with those beautiful trees. And now I'm also going to add some bushes. Okay, so then the ground, you know the ground that is under the lake or the ocean, that is the ground. Because um, there will be some ground water over there. Ground water. And now, let's see, I'm going to add vapor because that the first stage is going to be evaporation. Evaporation. It is when the sun shine down and vapor will start to go up, shine down the water. And transpiration is, is it is when the sun shine into plants and then the water in the plants will start to go up into the sky just like vapor. And then when the, the vapors go up into the sky like that, it will eventually form, when the air is getting colder, it will eventually form cloud. That is called condensation. And when the condensation, when the vapor goes into the cloud so much, a lot, then uh, the cloud cannot control it anymore. It will start it to have precipitation. Precipitation, uh, there will be rain, sleet, or hail, or snow. The, those things will start it to fall down from the sky and into the ocean or the lakes or the river. And then the cycle is going to start all over again. After finishing that, I'm, go I'm still going to add more um, trees, bushes, and grasses there. Yeah. Some bushes as well. And then I'm going to also add the grasses, just like that. And now it is time to add the sun. The sun is one of the most important thing in the water cycle. Without the sun, evaporation will not appear or transpiration will not appear. Without those things, condensation or precip precipitation cannot appear as well. Now I'm going to add some vocabularies. First is the tree and then grass. Grass, river, that is the river. And then the lake. Mountain. Mountain. Okay, that is the cloud. Ground water. Okay, so now 
I'm just going to use a red marker to start um, adding the arrows for the to make the cycle look understandable. The transpiration will go up like that because it's going up to the sky. And then the condensation will start it to become precipitation. And precipitation, the rain, the snow will go down. And the cycle will start all over again. Okay, after finishing um, coloring, I just thought of a, an idea because I'm going to draw a flower because that is that is that gap is a bit empty and also I think it will be a great vocabulary for us to learn. I'm just going to take the pink to draw the petals, then the yellow to draw the inside, and the green marker to draw the stem and the leaves. I color the leaves by this green marker as well. And to around the flower, I add more grasses to make the flower less lonely. So as you can see, that is my complete water cycle. So I hope that you have learned something pretty nice. And I hope that you will have a chance to try to show that you're great at this. So thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.